What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. I actually didn't even mean to plan I didn't plan on making this video, but I figured while I'm doing this, might as well bring y'all in on what's going on. So I have found a winch on Amazon. It's called uh, a Stegan Stegon Steg Stegon. I don't know. It's a Chinese winch rated at 13,500 pounds. Um, looks like a Smitty build winch, right? Found it on Amazon, got it on Black Friday for under $400. It was actually $321. I have a link in my description, in the description below. If you want to try this winch out. Um, I have a Warren VR 8K winch on the front of my Jeep. I bought it used and it's getting tired and everything. And I really need to take it off and refurbish it. Uh, I was going to put the Stegan, Steg on, whatever, the jungle winch. I was going to put it on that Jeep because I got a bumper coming for it. But I want to put my lights back on that I took off when I was going to sell this thing. And to put the lights back on, you really need to take the winch out. So I figured this would be a perfect time to try out the jungle XEX winch. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to install this winch into this bumper. And we're going to test it out. We're going to test it out and see if it's actually a good winch. Uh, right now, it's back on Amazon after the Black Friday for $401. That is cheaper than any winch that a lot of, I'm going to say any, a lot of winches like the Badlands um, winch, the 12000 it's like $600. So $200 difference in a winch. And this is 13,500 pounds. That one's only 12,000 pounds. We're going to take this winch out. We're gonna take my good Warren out and we're gonna put this winch in my JK because this is the one that's gonna be probably the most winched, uses the winch the most. I honestly don't use a winch a lot. That's why I kind of wanted to put on the WK because the WK probably would need a winch more, but the Warren's gonna fit better in that it's a hidden bumper. So it's gonna fit better in there than this one will. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. There's easy, I made it easy to take on and off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this Jungle EX winch in this bumper, put the lights back on it, and then we're gonna see what it is. I mean, dirt cheap winch. So is a dirt cheap winch gonna be even viable? Who knows? We're gonna test it out. So let's get this winch worn off here and then we'll switch out for the Jungle winch. All right, we got that winch off, no problem. Here it is beside the Jungle EX 13,500 winch. As you can tell, it is bigger. It's supposed to be bigger. It's 13,500 pounds. But uh, this winch is old. I've had it for four, I've had it for four years. Uh, the synthetic rope is old. It needs to be fixed. So that's what we're going to do while it's off here. Here's the stuff that comes with it. It comes with a, a fan lead. Comes with the wiring, of course. Comes with the hook. Comes with the box. This also has a remote. It's a wired and wireless, and it's magnetic. So that'll be nice if it actually works. But let's go ahead and stick it in here. Stick it in this bumper, and it comes with all the mounting hardware and stuff. So we should just be able to stick it in there after I put my lights on and uh hook it up all right so i'm trying to put this winch on here we already got some negatives for this sticking stick on winch here um it's a comes with all your hardware and to put your fair lead on you need a 12 and an 11 they want you to put a bolt with the lock washer with a washer and then a nut behind it okay so a 12 you can see that is a hex head 12 by point or 12 by 25 okay and then we have all we also have hex head bolts 10 by 25 which are these guys are smaller okay that's for the winch makes sense so got the right ones first off the oh let me get you here so you have two different size washers you have the smaller washer 
and the bigger washer. So the bigger washer goes with the this stuff. So you put the washer in there. Washer don't fit. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, I use a lock washer in a washer or a lock washer and a bolt just like this. Okay, that's great. So you go to try to you go to try to put it in there. How are you supposed to tighten it? Can't even get the bolt or the you can't even get it in there. Socket. So already negatives here. Um, I'm gonna use my try to use my hardware for my other one. I guess might have to put my other fairly back on. I was gonna use the one that came with it, but doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to right now. I don't have the hardware for it. So we'll just grab this hardware I used. I grabbed from the other one. And we'll see if we can get it to work like that. All right, so I grabbed my hardware from my other one, smaller, so that would be great. But I still, the hole is just so small that you can't even, like, doesn't fit. I wanted to use this fairly, but I guess not. Or else I'll just go back to the um, this one. I'll clean. I'll clean this one up and use it. I guess. So that's one negative to this brand of winch. They just, the hardware's not right. The, I mean, I guess you could drill that out, but it's like, it's cast. So we'll take this off and put the other one back on, I guess. All right, winch is installed. Let's talk about it because there's some things, there's some pros. And I don't know if there's any pros to that. Actually, or not because all, I've had so far as cons because I haven't used it yet. Um, the cables for the positive and negative are super small. So I had to, instead of, I have an Optima here. Usually I would, my old winch set up, I hit them, I put them in the front. Couldn't do that. Couldn't find my Christmas tree bit to drum out a little bit. Actually, when I was putting my tools up, I found it. So I guess it's a negative. You know, if you didn't have a Christmas tree bit or didn't know what you were doing, you just kind of plugging it up. I like to have the um, wires not on my actual terminals. I mean, that's not a huge thing. Um, the bolts, the hardware they gave you, I couldn't use the one, uh, the um, Fairly that they sent because I couldn't get, I didn't have any sockets to fit it. So even the hardware that I didn't use, that didn't come with it, didn't work. So yeah. Um, so here's the uh, controller for it. It is mag, it's magnetic, not very powerful magnet, but I don't, eh, pretty powerful magnet. Um, this is also a thing right here. As you can see here, it says engage or disengaged is like this and engaged is up. Well, that's not right because here's supposed to be engaged. I can pull it disengaged as it says on the as it says right there that is engaged so that is not right there so that's another thing that's not right um it does work with let's see in it's a pretty fast seems like it's pretty fast then if you unplug it right here and you press this button right here on the front Hold it, turns green. Now we are in. Remote mode, turn it off. I guess there's batteries inside, but yeah. So um, the test now will be to use it, to actually use it. So that'll be right now, but later on down the road, we'll actually get to be using the winch and uh, you know, seeing what it does. It's a 13,500 pound winch, so should have some good pull. We'll see. I'm going to use it. I'm going to abuse it. And we're going to see if this winch is actually worth your money. So 
stay tuned for that. Um, that's gonna be that's gonna be the end for this one. It's probably gonna be a short video, so. But I'm gonna clean up all this stuff, and I'll be hooking up my lights again. My lights back up and have have it the old way I used to like it. The look of the Jeep. I like it now, so it's not that box is not here. It's up here, so that's pretty good. So we'll put this. We'll refurbish this winch and get some new line for it, and we'll put that in the Grand Cherokee whenever the winch bumper decides to come for that thing. So, but like I said, that's gonna be the end for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, the uh, in the description will be a link to the winch. So if you want, if you're interested in trying it out too, go ahead and click it. Uh, it's four hundred one dollars. So if you're looking for a cheap winch and uh you know it came in like three days so you're looking for a cheap windshield within three days and at thirteen thousand five hundred pound low capacity the stegon jungle ex is your winch so we're gonna put it to the test though so don't worry about that so catch me on or come back later and we'll i'll give you a review later on down the line whenever i feel like i've really tested it out Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on the next one.